In the village of Osaka, located in what is the Gifu Prefecture of Japan today, there lived a man named Kanemon. In front of his house was an old suspension bridge that spanned across the mountain valley to a neighboring village. One day, while Kanemon was home, he heard the rattling sound of the bridge. Knowing that crossing the bridge at night was dangerous, Kanemon rushed outside to warn whoever was trying to cross the bridge. However, once he was outside, he saw no one on the bridge. This event happened for many nights afterwards. On some nights, he would even hear whispers or cries of sorrow. Unsure of what was happening, Kanemon consulted a fortune teller. The fortune teller told Kanemon that what he was hearing was the parade of the dead, making their way to Tachiyama, known as Toyama, known as the Toyama Prefecture today. It was known that several gates to hell existed in Tachiyama, and the souls of the dead must have found his old bridge as a convenient path to their final destination. Upon hearing this, Kanemon moved his entire home as far as he could from the bridge, and held a small memorial service at the bridge, in the hopes of easing the sentences of those poor souls. Since that day, Kanemon never heard the strange sounds, and the bridge still exists today, known as the Gata Gata Bashi, or the Rattling Bridge. Now, this is an interesting tale, as it has no traditional horror elements, apart from the souls of the dead making their way to hell. But it does bring up an interesting idea. As a soul moves from the land of the living to the land of the dead, they must travel to a gate that will take them there. What is to stop them from changing how they get to the gate? Like poor Kanemon, what's to stop a wave of spirits from making their way down your street? After all, you do hear some strange things at night when you're home alone. <laughs>